Hi golfers, Nick here for Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. Behind me in the bay here, we're at Golf Tech Singapore, is Frenchy Golfer. This is Audrey. Uh, you may have seen her in a previous video. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the changes Audrey's gone through in the last few months, but more importantly, the changes she made when she had a lesson with a Yumi Hori Golf in California. So recently, Audrey had a lesson with Ayumi, and in that particular lesson, they worked on her swing to help her improve her ball flight, to try and take her away from push slicing the golf ball and to get her to kind of push draw the golf ball. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the changes that Audrey made. We're gonna take a look at the video. We're gonna be taking a look at the differences from before and after, and some snippets from that particular lesson to show you guys what Audrey changed in her golf swing to help her play better golf. So as Audrey's hitting her shots here, we're going to be going through the video. We're going to be talking about the things that we can see on the camera. And we're going to be talking about things that Audrey's changed in her swing to help her draw the golf ball. So Audrey, um, on the screen here, I've got your video of your swing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see guys, we've got it on the background. I'm going to bring this up onto the screen here. So on the video here, we've got uh, Audrey's previous lesson, which was uh, about a month or so ago on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we've got today's swing. So you can see in today's swing, uh, Audrey's got her body weight more forward. Yeah. Uh, I'd say your left foot's a little bit more turned out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that the, the hands are more forward. Yeah. So as Audrey sets up here, she's basically pushing her weight forward and her hands forward here. And these are key things that are going to help her draw the golf ball. So taking a look at Audrey's setup here, as you just showed me there Audrey. Mm -hmm. So if you look at uh, on the screen here guys, you've got Audrey's previous setup on the left and then the latest setup on the right. You can see that on the left hand side she had quite a lot of knee bend, uh, she was bending more forward and the hands were lower and this, this is really key here. When you have your hand set lower, this will tend to have more cup in the wrist and it tends to open the face more in the golf swing. So one of the things that Audrey changed, you saw the differences at setup with the hands being forward but also she's raised the handle here. So if you guys want to try and draw the golf ball, raising the handle, pushing the handle forward, these are key things to help you swing more around your body and to close the face. These are key things if you want to draw the golf ball. So to summarize guys, we've changed the setup position from the front view, pushing the hands forward, pushing the weight forward, and then from the side view you can see raising the handle, uh, slightly taller at setup, and this is things that are going to help her swing the club more around the body and draw the golf ball. So let's take a look at Audrey's swing here. Under pressure. Audrey loves pressure, as I'm sure most of you guys do, you know. Slight overdraw, but you drew. Mm. Work in progress. Work in progress. So next up, we're going to take a look at Audrey's swing in the backswing, because there's definitely some things that she changed in her golf swing. So let's take a look at the backswing, Audrey. With Ayumi, we worked on obviously turning a bit more. Yeah. And the drill was to put your leg back and try to straighten it um, as you should. Yeah. And so it really helped in turning the hip. Yeah. And because also I have lower back pain, it really protects my lower back. And on the downswing was to direct my hand path towards my right heel to try to like keep it in because I tend to go like this yeah I'm a tennis player so I tend to go out and by try to visualize my right hand going my left hand sorry going towards down my right heel even if it's emphasized and that's not how you play it's repro reprogramming my brain yep. cells somehow. So I think that's, that's a good point guys, when you're working on something you don't have to necessarily set up to the ball like you would do out on the golf course, this is a really good drill uh, to help with the depth of the hand, so if you struggle to draw the golf ball and take the hands in behind you, having the leg straighter at setup will help you do that. And weight forward. And yeah, weight forward, hands forward, so by setting up like this, this is going to encourage Audrey to swing the most from inside to out. It's also, as you can see there in a rehearsal, she's trying to direct her hands more closer to her body in a downswing. Some of the issues that Audrey's had in the past was that uh, she didn't create the, the depth in the backswing. 
you can see a nice draw there. He didn't create the depth in the backswing and then the hand pass started to come a little bit outside on the downswing. But, so by setting up with the trail leg back, leg straighter, it gives you that space then to turn with the lower body and as a result turn the hips more and take that, that hand path more inwards. And although I may not succeed on every single shot, I've noticed on my data that 99% yeah. of the time it's in to out. Yeah. Whether before it was out to in, in to out, it was not yeah. really consistent. I think that's a, that's a good point though. You can see the last shot here, that was 5.5 degrees into out. I know in the past your average was around zero and as Audrey mentioned sometimes in some days she would be a little bit outside to in so by setting up with this drill it definitely encourages her to do that. So this is a really good drill to help help you swing the club more around the body, create more depth and potentially draw the golf ball. So we talked today about setup changes uh, from both viewpoints, talked about uh, the depth in the backswing. Now we're going to just talk about the front view here and the changes that Audrey's made from the front view. I think this is key. If you're going to hit the golf ball consistently, obviously trying to draw the ball is one thing, but making sure you get that low point in front is also crucial. So let's take a look at Audrey's swing here. So Audrey, if you take a look at the screen here, you can see the differences we talked about setup with the hands being more forward, the body weight being more forward. Mm -hmm. In the back swing here, you can see that you've turned more with the lower body and the upper body. You can see that the club has traveled further around. So this is creating that depth in the back swing. And I feel like on the left one, I feel like the club is dragging me away. Yeah. Whereas the other one, I'm more steady. Yeah. If that Definitely. Makes sense. Yeah, you can see your weight's more on the left. You can see yeah. from that line, mm -hmm. you kind of you stacked on that line, which is really good. Mm -hmm. So as we take a look at the downswing here, so we're just going to stop it here, just as we come into the impact position. So this is kind of like the frame before impact. You can see that Audrey's weight, her shoulder hands are more forward and we take a look at the impact point here definitely a big difference here in the lower body you can see the, the trail leg is a bit straighter you're pushing your hips more forward uh, as a result getting that low point more forward the arms are a little bit straighter here mm. as we go through and out something that we've worked on a lot and then into the finish you can see how you've moved the hips through uh, more through that line into the finish so all those things are key Guys, it's not just about trying to draw the golf ball here. We have to make solid contact. And by having the hands forward, the weight forward, the handle up higher, that's certainly going to help you swing more round and get that low point further forward like it did for Audrey. So I think you're making really good progress, Audrey. So well done. It's amazing to see how much Audrey's improved over the last year or so. You may have seen the previous videos where we've talked about updates in Audrey's swing. Well, I think it's really starting to take shape now. I think the, the key thing is, I think having... Uh, the lesson there with Yumi and to put together with what we've worked on here at Golf Tech is so important. I think that's one of the best things about the stack and tilt system is that by sometimes getting that different outlook or that different perspective from another coach combined with what you've been working on can really help. It was kind of added into what we've done in the previous lessons. In my experience, we've always worked on trying to get that low point further forward. We've always worked on trying to swing as straight as possible. We have worked on the hand path, but I think just by changing the, the setup there, it kind of just clicked for Audrey and I think made a bit, big difference. So I think she's making really good progress and I do appreciate Yumi's help. Uh, she does a wonderful job over there in California. And um, I know a lot of you guys and girls watch the channel and I do appreciate the support as well. And right on cue there, push to trying to draw as well. So awesome stuff, Audrey. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time out today to help You're me with welcome. this video. So I really appreciate it. I'll put Audrey's Instagram link um, on the screen here so you guys can follow her. I know she does post some videos on there uh, just with her progress and her golf swing. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you again next week for another video. The contact feels good. No, you hit it well. Like I'm okay. quite regular now on my shots. Not every single one I push draws, definitely push draw, yeah. definitely, but I would not end up in in a wide fairway. I would be on the fairway. Yeah.